Hello, everybody, and good morning. Welcome to the final Tiny Leaders event of the season. I am so happy to be here, so happy that you are here. My name is Ashley Laverty, and I am the artistic director of Kerfuffle, which is a theater and dance company based in the Midwest that creates performances exclusively for children under six. And welcome to this fabulous movement, music, and yoga jam specifically for children under six. But if you are older than six, you're probably going to have a good time too. Um, so friends who are watching, just a little housekeeping. If you're watching on the Facebook watch party, that's amazing. But if you comment, I'm not going to see the comments. So if you want to comment so I can see what you're saying, you can hop on over to the Lead Center's Facebook page and watch that original Facebook Live video, and then I will see some comments popping up. So if you're at home right now, um, tell your grown-ups to write in the chat what your name is and how old you are. And we are gonna sing our hello song. We have to warm up our bodies. So also tell your grown-up a part of our bodies that we need to sing about to warm up today. And while you're doing that, I want to extend a huge thank you to the Lead Center for hosting me for an entire year of virtual programming. How amazing uh, is this? And if this is your first Tiny Leaders, then that's awesome. You can go back and you can watch all the videos on the Lead Center's um, video archive page. Um, if you're watching and you have a couple dollars to spare, please consider contributing to the Lead Center Ovation Campaign. Um, all year, they've been able to support artists from all over the country, um, and it's because of um, you know, donations and contributions from people like you that have um, helped support artists. All right, so I'm hopping on over and I see a couple comments are in already. James is here and Alice is here. Hi, friends. James says we have to warm up our knees and Alice says we have to warm up our shoulders. Good idea, everybody. All right, so. We're going to get started with some ocean breaths. And if you have a yoga mat and you want to sit down on it, that's amazing. I don't have a yoga mat today. I just have a carpet. And that's okay, too. So find a spot, though, where you can sit down comfortably. Oh, and come to a nice, comfy, seated position. And we are going to start our time together today with three big ocean breaths. An ocean breath is when you inhale through your nose, you lift your arms up overhead, and then you make the sound of ocean waves like this. Let's do that three times. Here we go. Inhale. Ocean breath. Inhale. Ocean breath. And inhale. Ocean breath. All right, friends, let's sing our hello song. It starts by wiggling our fingers. Sing along with me. Here we go. We're gonna wiggle, wiggle, wiggle our fingers. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle our fingers. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle our fingers to say hello to our friends. Let's shake our hands. We're gonna shake, shake. Shake our hands, shake, shake, shake our hands, shake, shake, shake our hands to say hello to our friend. And let's wiggle our elbows. We're gonna wiggle, wiggle, wiggle our elbows, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle our elbows, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle our elbows to say hello to our friend. All right, everybody. James said we have to warm up our knees, and Alice said we have to warm up our shoulders. And then I think for the grand finale, let's warm up our whole bodies. But first, stretch your legs straight out in front of you. I'm gonna turn to the side so you can see my legs, and bounce those knees. And here we go. We're gonna bounce, bounce, bounce our knees. Bounce, bounce, bounce our knees. Bounce. Bounce, bounce our knees to say hello to our friends. Everybody come on up to an upright position. And what if 
character is this? Who might say, Arr. Arr. Hmm. who might be named something like Blackbeard? Everyone imagine that like you have a long, scraggly beard. Give your long, scraggly beard a little scratch. Or whose name might be something like Blue Lip Sue. Everyone, purse your lips out like this and say, Blue Lips Sue. Or Captain Calico Kid. Everybody put your hand on your hip and in like a grumpy voice say, Captain Calico Kid. Or who might be named Big Bandit Bart? Ooh, imagine like you're a bandit, which is like another name for a thief, someone who steals something. Imagine like you have two big handfuls of treasure and say, Big Bandit Bart. Big Bandit Bart. 
And so black beard. And so blue lips soon. And so Captain Calico Kid. All right, everybody, you're right. Today's class is all about pirates. Ooh, pirates. Now, I have a feeling that friends at home know a lot about pirates. And I really want to know what you know. So tell your grown-up to put it in the chat. Who, who is a name? What is a name of a pirate you know? What do pirates wear? Where do pirates live? And also, um, what are pirates known for? Oh, another question. Sometimes we see pirates have something on their shoulder. Anybody know what kind of animal is sometimes on a pirate's shoulder? Hmm, while you're thinking about it and telling your grown-up to put it in the chat, I have a few things I want to show you. Hmm, something that sometimes pirates wear is this. Sometimes we see pictures of pirates. Let's see if I can put this over my, my head without the elastic breaking. Sometimes we see pictures of pirates wearing one of these. What's this? It's an eye patch. That's right. And you see that picture right there of the Jolly Roger. The skull with the two bones. Oftentimes that's on a pirate's flag. I see that James and Alice know a lot about pirates. They say that Long John is a pirate and pirates wear eye patches and they have parrots on their shoulders. That's right. Sometimes pirates also wear something on their head. Sometimes they might wear a hat that looks like this. Arr. Now, but if they are a captain, there's someone who's very important, like, like Long John Silver. They might not wear a hat that looks like this, right? They might wear an even fancier hat. But something I like about this, <laughs> yeah, I love it when the comment comes up right on our screen. So cool. I got my eye patch. And we'll have to pretend we have a pair, of, won't we, James and Alice? Something that's cool about this hat is, look, you can also see the Jolly Roger. Oh, the Jolly Roger. Now, pirates, do they get around in their race cars? No. Do they get around in an airplane? No. They, uh-oh, my hat's falling off. They often sail the high seas on a boat. And most importantly, what are pirates looking for? X marks the spot. Everybody say X marks the spot. X marks the spot of their Ah, uh, everybody do a pirate laugh with me and say, ah, ah, ah. Very nice. Now you get to decide, everybody at home, what kind of pirate are you going to be? Are you a pirate that really wants to find jewels and lots of treasure? Are you a pirate that takes very good care of your parrot on your shoulder? Are you a pirate that wears a hat like this? Or are you a cat? and very important. Are you a pirate that has an eye patch? Or do you have blue lips? Or a big long beard? What kind of pirate are you? Tell your grown up to type it in the chat. I'm gonna take off my eye patch and my hat because I think that they might fall off. But we are gonna use our imaginations today and imagine like we are dressed like pirates. Now, I have a very special song that I want to teach you where we're gonna move our bodies to warm up a little bit. And I'm just gonna tilt my screen a little bit more because I feel like maybe you can't see me as much when I'm on the ground. All right, friends. So when you're done telling your grown-ups all the things you know about pirates, come on back down to your space 
and sit down on the ground and scoot your booty back and stretch those legs in front of you. This song is all about different directions that we're gonna go. We're gonna imagine like we are meeting the captain of the pirate ship. And in our song, when we say this way and that way, we're gonna rock from side to side, like we're on a pirate ship that rocks back and forth. And when our song says that we're going to go forward, we're gonna stretch forward towards our toes. And when it says backwards, we're gonna go all the way back and use our belly muscles and stay up. And we're gonna stretch them with our fingers. And the best part of this song, make sure behind you, you have a clear space. Because the best part of this song is when we go upside down. And when we go upside down, we do this. Upside down. We're gonna do that two times. Let's do this a couple times. I have a feeling you are gonna catch on soon as you see it. The song goes like this. It was a sunny day when I went to play down by the sea. I climbed aboard a pirate ship and the captain said to me, ready? We're going this way, that way. Forwards and back. Here we go. Upside down, upside down. Over the deep blue sea. All right, how'd you do? All right, let's do that one more time now that you've heard it once. Let's see, instead of a sunny day, what if we say it was a windy day? Here we go. It was a windy day when I went to play down by the sea. I climbed aboard a pirate ship and the captain said to me, we're going this way, that way, forwards and back. Woo! Upside down, upside down. Over the deep blue sea. Yeah, very nice friends. We're gonna play a game to think about all the different things pirates do. And I'm coming over to look at some of our comments. James is going to be a pirate who takes very good care of the pirate on his shoulder. Amazing, James, thank you for sharing. And Alice would be a long drawn pirate, like a captain, like a very important pirate. Amazing, thank you so much for sharing. All right, pirates, everybody at home, we're gonna play a game called All the Pirates Were Reading. So in this game, I want you to imagine like you're holding a very old book. Show me that you're picking up the very old book. Oh boy. And put it down on the imaginary pedestal in front of you. Oh, and open it up. All the children were reading and they flipped. Oh, excuse me, I don't know why I said children. I meant pirates. All the pirates were reading. Mm, show me that you're reading like a pirate. Maybe you're stroking your beard. Oh, yes, very good. Maybe you're holding a candle. It's nighttime. The pirates flipped a page. Phew, and suddenly, they twirled around two times. One, two, and they looked up. And when they looked down, they were swabbing the deck. Everybody show me that you are swabbing the deck. Swabbing the deck is like mopping the deck, like when you have to take care of the deck. And they were swabbing the deck, and they swabbed really fast. And they swabbed even faster. And then they got really tired. Uh, and their muscles started to hurt. Uh, and they put the mop down. And they decided to climb to the crow's nest. They looked all the way up. It was very high up, but they started to Go up the ladder. Show me that you are going all the way up the ladder. And stop, look down. Whoa, the pirates are really scared of heights. But it was their job, so they had to keep going. So these pirates kept climbing up the ladder. Then they got to the top of the crow's nest and they swung one leg over. They swung the other leg over. Whoa. And all the pirates pulled out their telescope. Show me how long the telescope is and put your telescope up to your eye. And they looked out. And they looked over at the ocean and they looked over at an island and they looked over at the dolphins. Wait, an island! They closed their telescopes and in a really loud pirate voice they said, Land ho! Everybody 
everybody say that with me. Here we go. Land ho. And all of the pirates swung one leg over, one leg, the other leg over, and they climbed down from the crow's nest. They climbed all the way down, and then they stopped, and they looked down. They were really scared of heights, but they had to keep going. So they went all the way down until suddenly, ah, they twirled two times. One, two, and they were back at the book. All the pirates were reading, and they flipped a page, and they flipped another page. Oh, suddenly, they twirled two times. One, two, they looked up. Oh. When they looked down, oh. they were in a rowboat. Show me that you're in a rowboat, everybody. And they were rowing with a whole team of pirates. And they were rowing, and they were rowing, and they were rowing faster, and faster, and faster, until suddenly they got to sand, and they swung one leg out of the boat and the other leg out of the boat. And suddenly, everyone had a map. Unfold your map. And they realized that they had to follow the map to find X marks the spot. But suddenly, they twirled two times. And they looked up, and they were back at their book. All the pirates were reading. They flipped their pages. Suddenly, they twirled two times. One, two, they looked up. And when they looked down, they were at X marks the spot. They were at the place of the treasure. So they started to dig and dig and dig and dig until they saw. Now, there was a curse on the treasure chest, the treasure chest. So, they, everyone knows that the way that pirates get rid of curses is first you have to spit. Just, just pretend that. Then you have to do a silly face. Ready? One, two, three. And then you have to say a magical word. Hmm. It can be any kind of magical word you want. I think today I'm going to say, Abracadabra! But you can say any kind of magic word you want. Ready? One, two, three. Abracadabra! The curse was broken. The pirates all lifted up the treasure chest. It was very squeaky. Make the sound of the squeak with me. And they looked inside. And suddenly, they twirled two times. One, two. They looked up. And they were back at the book. The pirates frantically flipped the book pages. And they never discovered what was in the treasure. Oh, no. All of the pirates shut their book. They picked up their heavy book and they put it back on the shelf where they got it. Friends, we, we gotta figure out, we gotta figure out what was in that treasure chest, don't we? Do you have an idea of what was in your treasure chest? Don't tell me, okay? I think that we gotta do some serious acting work here, all right? We have to become these pirates. We can't just be the pirates that we're reading. Let's become the pirates and let's go find that treasure, okay? So now we already talked about how sometimes pirates wear hats or sometimes they wear eye patches. And I think we talked about how they, they drive in race cars, right? Oh no, wait, they, they fly on, Airplanes. No. How do pirates get from one place to the other? Everybody, let's come all the way back to our space where we have room and sit down and hug your legs in. Pirates travel on boats. 
So everybody, we're going to use our belly muscles today, and you're going to lift one foot in the air, maybe point your little toe or flex your toe, and then you're going to use those belly muscles and bring the other foot up. Hey friends, let's imagine like we are rowing the boat, and row to one side, and row to the other side, and let's sing our rowing song. I have a feeling you know it. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Okay, well that was beautiful. But were we singing in our pirate voices? I don't think we were. Now Alice says that she's a long john pirate, so I think that means she's like a really serious captain. And Jane said that he's the kind of pirate with a parrot, so I don't know, I feel like that's a pretty serious kind of pirate too. And um, I'm the kind of pirate that has to swab the deck every day. I'm not a very important pirate. But when I sing, I kind of sound like this. So everybody, let's row our boats again, but let's sing it in our pirate voice. Here we go, one foot up. Use those belly muscles, other foot up. Here we go. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. The pirates love to row their boats in the water. But on this particular day, there were lots and lots of waves that were going up and down and up and down. Everybody roll over your leg, plant, plant both of your hands, and we are going to be the waves today. So we are going to tuck our toes if this feels good and stretch your booties high in the sky. We're going to be a wave like this, and then we're going to say, whoosh, and come forward like a wave. Here we go, back all the way up. And here we go, waves. One more time, booty all the way up. And splash. These waves were so strong that the boat was going up and down and up and down. But these pirates were warriors. So friends, let's all come back to our big wave position with our booties high in the sky and our toes are tucked and we're going to take one foot and we're going to bring it up in between our legs and we're going to plant our back foot and we're going to come up into a warrior position. Now I'm facing the side so you can see one of my legs is bent and the other one is not but if I was facing the camera you can see that I'm facing you. Pirates are warriors. Everybody show me those muscles and kiss your muscles. Mwah, mwah. Pirates are strong. So everybody say, I am strong. Very good, say it again. I am strong. We're gonna open up to another warrior position. So if I am facing this way, now I'm gonna take my muscle and I'm gonna stretch like this. So my hips are facing my camera. And not only are we strong, but pirates are also smart. So keep one leg bent and touch your brain and say, I am smart. Very good, say it again, say, I am smart. Mm, very good, put those hands on those hips, pirates. Now, pirates are sometimes nice to each other. So today we're gonna be kind pirates and we're going to come into our goddess or our strong, kind pose. We're gonna bend both of our knees like this. We're gonna stretch our arms all the way up, and when we bend our knees, we're gonna bring our hands down in between our legs, and we're gonna have this like this, and we're gonna say, I am kind. Let's do that together. So stretch those legs straight. Breathe in, face, bring your, uh, excuse me, bring your fingers up towards the ceiling, breathe in, and bend your knees. I am kind. Say that again, say I am kind. Very good, and reach all the way up. Take a deep breath in, pirates. And bring your hands down to your side. Now, pirates who are warriors, who are strong and smart and kind, also have to do that, again, on the other leg. So if you had one leg bent that whole time, we're gonna do it again on the other side so you have a chance, pirates, to stretch out that other foot. So let's go back to that wave position with our feet planted and our hands in front of us and our booties high in the sky. 
and bring your other foot in between your hands and plant the back foot behind you on the ground. Sweep all the way up, pirates. Show me those muscles. Remember, we are facing, either you're facing your side or you're facing your camera like this. Show me those muscles again, pirates. Kiss those muscles. Mwah, mwah, and say, I am strong. Very good. Say it again. Say, I am strong. I'm going to turn back to the side because you're going to see that I am going to take this muscle right here and I'm going to whoo, sweep it out into my second warrior position. And remember, pirates are very smart. They're conniving and you're going to say, I am smart. Very good. Say it again, pirates. I am smart. And now we will bend this straight leg. So both of our legs are going to bend because pirates can also be kind. And today we're going to be kind, pirates. Stretch up, wiggle those fingers high towards the ceiling. Take a deep breath in. Bend everything down and say, I am kind. Very good, do it again. I am kind. Very nice, pirates. So we those hands all the way up. Then bring your hands down by your side. Now, James. Your, pot, your parrot on your shoulder flew ahead of us while we were warming up with our pirate yoga flow on the beach this one morning. The parrot flew and flew and flew, and it flew kind of like this. Friends, bring your hands to your heart. Decide which foot you're going to balance on today. And then when you're ready, using your, your belly muscles, we're going to pitch forward, stretching our parrot tail behind us. Maybe put your parrot wings out to the side like you're flying high in the sky and say, Mom, call it water cracker. <laughs> and if you lose your balance, oh well, just put your foot down and try again, everybody. So stretch those parrot wings out to the side. Stretch your parrot tail and say, Mom, call it water cracker. Parrot, I'm a parrot. <laughs> and when you're ready, we have to switch sides. So try your other side, parrots. Put those beautiful rainbow colored wings up to your side. And we are going to pitch forward, balancing with our belly muscles, stretching your other foot. Stretch your other foot as your parrot tail and say, oh, I'm a parrot. Or say, a, pa a parrot's life for me. <laughs> and if you lose your balance, oh well, try again. Say, oh, a parrot's life for me. And when you're ready, parrots, Put both feet down to the ground. Now, the parrot flew and saw the entire view of the island. And the parrot came back to tell the pirates that through the trees, there was a treasure. Now, there were so many trees on this island. The pirates and the parrot had to march through them. So everybody, march like a pirate and march, and march, and march, and then start pushing those branches out of the way. And there were so many trees, and so many branches, and these trees were very strong. Everybody come to a strong standing position with both of your tree chunks planted in the ground. And take a deep breath in, and a deep breath out. These strong trees balanced. So everybody, when you're ready, bring your hands to your hips and bring one of your feet to a kickstand, like your toes just barely touching the ground. You can be a small tree like this, balancing on one foot. If you want, you can bring the bottom of your foot whoop, to your shin, or if you feel ready, you can bring it up onto your thigh. And trees stretch those branches out wide. Maybe you have bent branches. Woo! Maybe you sway in the wind. There's a lot of wind on an island. And trees, if you fall down, that's okay. Just try again. Maybe you want to have a tall branch. Maybe you're extremely tall. Or maybe you wave in the wind. And when you're ready, trees, let's try the other side. So put your hands on your hips. Bring your other foot to a kickstand and stretch that other foot up. 
Maybe as a tall tree holding on to those belly muscles. Stretching those branches out wide or even up high. And as the island wind bursts through your branches, make the sound with me. You're ready, trees. Come back down, feel strong, grounded. Stance. And take a deep breath in. And a deep breath out. And the pirates were marching. March, 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 march. And then the captain with the hook said, X marks the spot. Everybody show me your hook and say X marks the spot. We are going to be that hook today, that sharp curved hook. So come on down to the ground on your knees, everybody. Now this might feel really good to just be like this, to be a hook. And maybe you want your hook to have your arms straight up. You can hook your hands like this. Or maybe it might feel good to look up as if your whole body is a hook. Or maybe you can tuck your toes and you can try to hold onto your ankles behind you and push your belly button as if it's going towards that wall. And if it feels good, you can look up towards the sky. And if it feels really good, you can drop your head. Whatever feels good for you, hooks. Yeah, for me, it feels good to hold on to my back. Just look up towards the sky. And everybody, hooks, take a deep breath in. And deep breath out. When you're ready, gently come back to your knees. And you can rest with your booty on your heels. Now, the hook. They dug and they dug and they found the buried treasure. Everybody sit on your booties, bring those toes together like you are a treasure chest. And the treasure chest was closed until they opened it up. So let's stretch our legs open like we are huge treasure chest filled with treasure. And flex those toes and make sure you can see my toes. Flex your toes that are facing up towards the sky. Take a deep breath in. And treasure chest, sometimes the treasure chest like to close and protect itself. Wiggle your toes and stretch up. Very good. And then open up that treasure chest again. And wiggle your fingers up towards the sky. And exhale, close the treasure chest. And one more time, take a deep breath in, stretch those hands up high in the sky, and close the treasure chest. But the pirates prevailed, and they opened up the treasure chest, and they took two big handfuls of treasure. Pirates, the incredible thing about this particular treasure chest is magical. That means that whatever the pirate that touched the treasure saw, that's what the treasure was. Whoa, this is incredible. There was never anything else like this on earth before. So pirates, look down at your hands, the size of the treasure you have. We're gonna play a game today, and it's called Treasure Chest. And how we play the game is when you open up the treasure chest, you're gonna reach in and show with your face and your body what's in there. So for example, maybe you open it up, reach in. It's a kitty cat. Bubbles. 
maybe something that's in the treasure chest is a necklace. and gorgeous matching earrings. So everybody, what is in your treasure chest? Open it up. <gasps> look inside and take it out. And without telling us, can you show face in your body what it is? Good. It's a, a veggie hot dog. Really good. Just with, with all the Chicago things on it. Mm, right, no ketchup. Mm, very good. Mm. Oh, okay, one more thing. <gasps> oh. <gasps> when you had. All right, friends, what is in your treasure chest? Tell your grown up to put it in the chat so I know. I would love to know what you found. Now, pirates, we have to lug this treasure back. So everybody, chip in. Ready? One, two, three. Pick it up. Oh. The pirates walked all the way back to their rowboat. And they put their treasure into the rowboat. Oh. But before they let it go back to the ship, every pirate got one more very special piece of treasure. They get one more thing, whatever it is. Maybe it's something really important to you. Bring it to your heart. And pirates, we are going to go back to our ship on a raft today. So lie down. As you're lying down, I'm going to come over and see what friends, oh, what friends found in their treasure. Alice found a necklace, and James found billions of coins. <laughs> Amazing. All right, so take that necklace, take those coins, take your kitty cats, take your bubbles, take your Chicago hot dogs, and everybody lie down on your pirate raft with your treasure in your belly or on your heart. Or it can just be down by your side. If that feels good, then close your eyes, pirates. Feeling your treasure in between your fingers. Take a deep breath in. And a deep breath out. A deep breath in. A deep breath out. As we are floating in the ocean on our raft, allow your bodies to relax. Sink into your raft and just feel the movement of the nice, gentle ocean waves. Think about the grand adventure we had today, pirates, where we were warriors. We traveled on the boat. Parrots flew high in the sky. We marched through a forest of palm trees, island trees, we found a treasure, a necklace, billions of coins, and a kitty cat, and a hot dog, and a hat. Take one more deep breath in through your nose, and a breath out through your mouth. <sighs> when you're ready, pirates, Stretch those hands up in front of you. Stretch your toes down below you. And when you open your eyes, you're no longer a pirate. You're no longer Long John Alice or James the pirate with the parrot or Blue Lips Sue or Peg Leg. Peg. Stretch, stretch, stretch your body. Give yourself a hug. And when you open your eyes, you're back to being yourself. 
And when you're ready, you can sit up. And you can stay seated if you'd like. I'm going to stand up to say goodbye. <sighs> We're going to end our tiny leader session today with three very special breaths. And as always, I want to say thank you to everybody who participated, everybody at home, James and Alice and Emily and everybody else that's been here. You're awesome. And you can always drop in the chat uh, the treasure that you found or other things that you discovered on your pirate adventure today. All right, everybody, take a deep breath in through your nose. And exhale, fire! Take a deep breath in. And exhale, frost and fog like Queen Elsa. And our third and our final breath, we will inhale and exhale with a smile to thank ourselves for all of our hard work today. Take a deep breath in. Exhale with a smile. Kiss your brains. Mwah, mwah. Give yourself a hug. Ooh, say thank you, self. <laughs> if you have a grown-up nearby, you can give your grown-up a hug if you want to. Say thank you, grown-up. And everybody, thank you so much for being here. This was our final Tiny Leaders event of the year. Ah, a huge thank you to the Lead Center for hosting Kerfuffle all year long. It's really been incredible. I'm very, very grateful. Um, once again, if you have a few dollars to spare, you can hop on over to leadcenter.org and donate to the Lead Center Ovation Fund, which has helped support artists from all over the country do really cool virtual programming all year long. Um, friends, if you had a great time, the rest of our Tiny Leader videos are in the Lead Center video archive, so you can play along. And like I said earlier, I'm the Artistic Director of Kerfuffle, and you can check us out at www.kerfuffletvy.com. And we have lots of very exciting things coming up and have had lots of virtual things that are still available on the website as well. And with that, I want to say thank you. Oh, James and Alice, thank you so much for being here. And everybody, I hope you have a wonderful Thursday, and I know that we will see each other again. Bye!